Welcome to the Googleplex. This is an incredible place with lots of great stuff being worked on every single day. Before I worked here, I always wondered what it would be like to come to the Googleplex, meet up with a Googler, and have coffee with them, and just chat about what they do, how they do it, and why they do it. And today we're going to do exactly that. Welcome to Coffee with the Googler. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and today I'm here with Jennifer Lin. And Jennifer's from our app indexing team, and she's going to tell us all about it. So, Jennifer, welcome. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for being here. So app indexing, what is it? What do you do with it? So app indexing is where we get Android and iOS apps into the Google index. Okay. So we can crawl, index, and serve content from apps, much like what we've done with websites. Okay. Developers are going to love app indexing because it gets them organic installs and traffic to their app from Google search results, search auto completions, and now on tap. Right. So if I understand this right, it's like now if I open my phone, instead of like me, searching on the web and finding a website and viewing that website in the browser, I can actually search. And if that content is within an app that I have, then I can go straight into the app and get maybe a richer experience than I would like in a mobile browser. Is, is that what it's all about? Yeah, that's right. So with app indexing, Google Search can help users find information uh, from apps that they've already installed, okay. apps that they may not have known have answers that they're looking for. Cool. I've sure. got some exciting stats that I want to share yeah, with you. Tell me. We've indexed 50 billion deep links from thousands of apps. Okay. And 25% of our Google searches uh, return deep link results to signed in Android users. Okay. We also have several success stories from apps uh, published on our developer site. Right. Uh, for example, Daily Mail, a uh, newspaper British app. Newspaper, yeah. Yep. yep. Um, they have uh, seen 22% boost in uh, search impressions for their app users. Okay. And those app users spent 20% more time per visit in the app reading and sharing articles. So nice. that's that's great. Cool. So uh, I want to show you an example. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so let's say I'm checking out the Grand Hyatt Hotel in San Francisco. Okay. And so I search for it, and I get a bunch of results from apps that I have installed, like TripAdvisor, okay. um, Yelp, Booking.com, Expedia. Okay. And uh, if I click on any of these titles, it'll take me directly to the Grand Hyatt San Francisco page in the app. So it's really nice that I can find this content by searching, but what if I don't have the app? So if you don't have the app installed, then Google Search will also help uh, users discover your apps uh, okay. once you integrate with app indexing. So um, another example is, let's say you know I search for patio umbrellas. I see results from like Wayfair.com. I also get results from um, Overstock.com. Okay. Now I'll also see an option to install the Wayfair app. Um, or the Overstock app to go and view you know, their information on patio um, umbrellas. And when I install, I'm taken to the Play Store page, and I accept the app permissions, and the install happens. And I can hit the Continue button to go directly to the patio umbrellas page in the nice. Overstock app without nice. having to go back to the home screen. Got it. So it's not like breaking the workflow. I'm able to install and then go straight to that content right away. Right, so right. That's pretty neat. So I can see where this now kind of makes it very interesting for you to market your app, that the apps with the best content are the ones that you know people are going to see, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's, if I can build an app with great content, then people will be able to find my app as well as my content. Right? That's so, right. And that's what you were talking about earlier, is like a, potentially a new marketing channel. Yes. So I think developers are going to love this. You're right. But how did they get started? So there are two steps to get started with app indexing. The first step is they have to add HTTP deep links to their app. Okay. And then the second step is they just publish those HTTP deep links so Google can discover them and we can start crawling their deep links. I see. And so uh, one, th the simplest way to publish their HTTP deep links is to associate their app and their website. And all they have to do is just go to the Google Play Developer Console, log in, okay. type in their website address. And then they can log into the Google Search Console and accept that website verification request. Wow. And that's it. They just, you know, just make sure you test, right, that your deep links are working, they open correctly, okay. and then you get to measure the performance of your deep links on Google Search with our Google Search Console. It's as simple as that. Yep, that's cool. it. And you can go to our website, which is uh, g.co slash app indexing to g find all this information. So g.co slash app indexing. Yep. That's a pretty easy one to remember. 
<laughs> is there an app for that that's app indexed? No. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Jennifer. That was really awesome. And thanks, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee with a Googler. We've got lots more great information on app indexing. There's a great dev bite that you can watch here. And we've linked other stuff into this in the description of this video. If you have any questions for me or any questions for Jennifer, please leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to the Google Developers channel for more great content. Thank you.